Uh, excuse me. I look so pale because this lighting sucks. Are they coming closer? No, they're closer. Hey everyone, how are you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, as you can tell by the title down below, it is a haul. I have a lot of makeup that I recently purchased and I've used actually some of it. So I really want to tell you guys what I think about a lot of it and the things that I liked and the things that I didn't like. So I'm going to jump right into this. But before we jump into it, I do want to wish you all a happy new year. This video is going up on New Year's Eve, I believe. So I really hope you guys have a great start to the new year. And I have to say I am really excited for 2019 because 2018 was a little rough. Let's just say that. So I wanted to kick this off with a haul video and I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys have yet to subscribe, please do. The subscribe button is free and hit the notification bell so you know when I post my videos. I know this past week was the week of Christmas, so my uploading schedule was very non-existent. So I do apologize for that, but going into the new year, sorry, there's just, I have so much stuff in front of me. There's no room to like move or function. So if you hear things moving, everything's just popping piled up on top of each other right here in front of me. All right, so I did quite a bit of damage on some makeup and beauty items lately, and the bulk of these items are from either Ulta.com or Sephora.com or Sephora in store. So I think I'm gonna go through the Sephora items first because there's less of those, and let's just get started. The first thing I wanna show you guys that I'm really excited about is the new, kind of new, it's not really new anymore, but it's newer to me, is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder in the Glow version. You guys know I swear by the original Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is their holiday packaging. That's why it looks different. But this is the original matte one, and they did come out with a translucent glow version. And this I'm really excited about. I am friends with the Laura Mercier rep that's in my area, so she did give this to me. But I haven't used this one yet personally because I'm still going through my matte one, and I have another glow powder that's open but this looks beautiful I tried it on in the store and it looks gorgeous it gives you that natural just glow and flush to the skin without being so shimmery and glittery I wouldn't use this all over the face personally because I am combination oily and I'm oiling my t-zone so this is definitely something that I would use more on my cheeks but I am excited about this powder and then she also gave me the matching brush so when this powder first came out they created a brush for it as well and it looks like that that's the shape of it and then let's take it out. This is what the brush looks like. It's very oddly shaped. I don't have any brush like this, but this is meant to really cup every crevice of the face, which is nice. And you can go all over the cheeks, on the cheekbone. You can do the jawline if you wanted to. It's great around the forehead as well, but it is such a soft bristled brush. I really do like the Laura Mercier brushes. I don't have many. I think I've only used one other one before, but this is gorgeous. And this actually is the matching brush to this powder. So I'm really excited about this. All right, the last two things from Laura Mercier that I picked up, or that I got, actually, is the Laura Mercier uh, Powder Puff, which I have my own right here. This one's dirty. I love these. These are great if you're using the translucent powders in any way, shape, or form. So these are, I believe, washable, but I have an extra now, which I'm excited about. And then my friend from Laura Mercier also gave me this, which is their newer concealer that they came out with. This is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer. I haven't used this this yet I totally forgot about this actually because I use a few other new concealers that I purchased um, on my face today because I want to tell you guys about them but I totally forgot about this one so this is gonna be the next one that I use and she gave me the color 2n which I think is gonna work really great for my under eyes so I do like a brighter under eye so this I will have to keep you updated on but I've heard amazing things about it so again the color is 2n also from Sephora I did end up picking up the Dior skin forever foundation I mentioned this in my previous video or two videos ago I believe but I did pick this up and the color I got is soft beige this is just the box um, it's 025 soft beige if you guys are curious I'm not wearing this today I'm wearing a different foundation today and again I will mention that later in the video but I love this Dior Forever foundation if you are wanting to splurge or treat yourself to a higher end foundation this one is beautiful I think this one might be close to 50 or 60 dollars but it is gorgeous I love the finish and it lasts really well all right the last two things I believe <laughs> if I find something else I will mention it later but the last two things from Sephora I'm sorry last three things from Sephora are these right here so the first one I'm going to show you is this mascara this is the new NARS Climax mascara. I am so excited that I got this and 
I love it. I am wearing it today, so I'll zoom up a little bit, but I am wearing it today. This is about two coats of it, and it is amazing. I love the wand on this. It is more of a brushy, bristly wand, not one of those plastic type of wands. So I do enjoy something like this, and I love the shape of it. I like how it tapers towards the end where it gets a little bit more pointy so you can get the inner and outer corners. This mascara wears really well. This is the color black. I think they only come in black, but I really do like the formula of this. And I this is probably my third day using it, and I have to say, I love it. So if you were thinking about this mascara, try it out. It is really good. Okay the last makeup item that is from Sephora is this liquid eyeliner so this is the new Fenty Beauty what does she call it fly liner long wear liquid eyeliner and the color is cuz I'm black so I love me a felt tip liquid liner it's what I swear by it's what I use every single day whether I'm doing a wing liner or I'm not I always use liquid at least for my upper lash line as you can see here, this is an extremely fine tip, which I can appreciate. I haven't used this yet. I didn't use this today, again, because I used something else that I'm going to talk about, but I'm really excited to try this out. And again, this is from Fenty. Is this even focusing? I don't know if it's a focusing. I'm super sorry. All right, let's try a swatch. I haven't even swatched this yet. Ooh. All right. Oh, no. Oh geez, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. This is the swatches right here, and typically when I do eyeliner swatches, if it starts feathering and bleeding into the little lines on my hand, I already know it's not going to be my favorite. Oh man, I don't know why I didn't swatch this earlier. Well, there you go. I will keep you guys posted on that. All right, and the actual last thing from Sephora, again, sorry about the lighting, the sun just went away and yeah, sorry. Um, the last thing from Sephora is the IGK First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. The IGK has, I think, three different dry shampoos. This is the charcoal version, so this is like the heavy duty one. This one's great, I've tried it before. I think I showed you guys a mini travel size version that I went through, and I do like it. It definitely takes away the shine but it does add a lot of texture to your hair. So if you prefer a dry shampoo that doesn't feel like a lot of product in your hair, you probably won't like this because you can actually feel the product. Um, so when I use this, I like to use it sparingly. I use it very lightly. I don't go crazy all over my scalp, but it is a nice one if you are extremely oily. So um, yeah, I'm excited to have a full size. Okay, so of course I found a few other things that are from Sephora and they are the Sephora face masks. So I've never used any of these on myself and a lot of people rave about them. They are the sheet masks and they are one time use. So I picked them up for, you know, stocking stuffers, Christmas gifts. So I did pick some up for myself as well. And I doubled up on some because I might give these away for like birthdays and stuff. Right, the first two I got are the lychee ones and these are newer and um, that's the fruit right there. If you guys don't know what lychee is, it is a, I believe it's a Southeast Asian fruit. So I love lychee. I, I've eaten them since I was a child. So when these face masks came out, I was like, ooh, I can't wait to try these. I also got the aloe vera one as well. And all these masks do something different. I, this one is quenching and replenishing. And I got two of those. What was the lychee? The lychee was... Uh, ultra moisturizing and brightening and then the last one I got was the oh wait why is there they're both ultra moisturizing and brightening okay well I guess these are the same thing this is lychee and this is a rose one all right, so now we're going to move on to the Ulta items that I picked up, and I placed a large order on Ulta.com because they were having like free shipping, 20% off, and some points, and you guys know, they always have some kind of promotion going. So I picked up a lot of boring things, but I picked up some drugstore items because I haven't really purchased a lot of drugstore items. I spend a lot of my time when I'm working in Sephora doors, so I figured this would be a great time to do it. So I'll get the boring things out of the way. I did pick up some Ulta hand soap. Um, I really like the Ulta hand soaps. They have the antibacterial ones. They have the foaming ones, which are my favorite. They have all different types. So I picked those up because they were on sale. I also picked up the Ulta brush cleansing solid soap. So you guys know I am a huge fan of solid soaps when I'm washing my brushes. Uh, the Beauty Blender one's great. The Morphe one is good. I think those are the only two I've tried. So I decided, oh, the Sephora one is good too. I've tried the Sephora one, but I've never tried the Ulta Beauty one and they have really great reviews on the website. So this is what the actual solid cleansing soap looks like. It says deep cleaning formula made with Moroccan argan oil. And again, the reviews were amazing. So I figured I would try it out and it's 1.4 ounces of product, which is 40 grams. So it's a decent 
decent size and I got two of them because I think they were like buy one get one free or buy two get two free something like that so I got these all right this right here I picked up I don't know why I picked this up I'm still debating if I even want to keep it but this is really similar to the product on the market that's called the makeup eraser so this is the Ulta Beauty brand like a version of it and it's the Beauty Smarts makeup removing towels so these are reusable so instead of using makeup wipes which you guys know I swear by I love me some makeup wipes before I use my face cleanser but this is an actual reusable washable towel and there's two in here. Is there two in here? No, I'm sorry. There's only one. Um, but yeah, it's just, it takes off your makeup apparently and you just wet it and it makes, it says it easily removes makeup, oil, and impurities without a cleanser. So all you need to do is add water to the towel. If you've tried any of these things that I have yet to try yet, please let me know your thoughts, especially this. This is interesting. So I picked that up. Okay. Now it's so bright. I'm super washed out. Oh wait, the lighting's back. It's better. Cool. All right. The last item that I picked up that is not a makeup item is, I don't know why I picked this up. I think I saw this either in a commercial on someone else's video. I don't remember why, but I picked up the as seen on TV finishing touch flawless facial hair remover. Um, it's 18 karat gold plated and it's for the smaller areas on your face. I guess like your upper lip, like around your eyebrow, like peach fuzz type of hair. And yeah, you guys know I get my eyebrows done, whether it's wax or thread. I have been using the like at home wax strips for like my upper lip. I haven't really done much with like peach fuzz type of areas on the face, but I have like eyebrow blades that I'll sometimes go over my skin with if I want a slight exfoliation as well but this looks interesting it's great if you're traveling as well so you don't have to bring a bunch of different like you know strips and stuff like that so um there's a built-in light as well so you can do it like in your car or at nighttime I don't know what that gimmick is but it has decent reviews and I figured I would try it out. I think it was $20, but it's really cute. It looks like a lip, little lipstick bullet. It's bigger than a lipstick bullet, but it's the shape of it. So I will let you guys know how this works. If you guys want a video on this, let me know. This just really intrigued me. So I picked that up and I think again, it was like 20 bucks. Okay, now on to some of the drugstore makeup items that I got. So just to give you guys a heads up, a lot of these things are more complexion products because when it comes to eyeshadows and like lipsticks and stuff like that, I have so so many of those and I don't wear a lot of eyeshadow I'm not wearing any today I, do, I keep my lip colors very neutral for the most part so I love to play around with complexion products especially drugstore because if you find something good for a cheaper price than that Dior forever foundation that's always a good thing so the one random thing that I picked up which I don't know what possessed me to pick this up because I never truly use or buy anything like this so I don't know if I want to actually keep this give this away or return it yet but it is um, from NYX from NYX and it's this I think this might be one of their holiday kits but it's called sugar trip and it says it was $55 I don't think I paid $55 for it I think it was on sale and then the extra 20% off and all of that but um, I for some reason was in the mood to buy some glitters it's all of the NYX glitters and I think you can use these on the eyes on the face pretty much anywhere um, and it comes with their glue as well so it comes with two four six eight ten of their glitters oh my gosh are they gonna fall over no they're not all right so let's zoom in for you guys here you guys can see oh yep they're gonna fall out nope that's not good okay so it does come with their glitter primer I apologize for the city noises. Ugh, the helicopters are going. Okay. Okay. All right, now that the helicopters are far, far away, um, the kit that I was showing you guys from NYX, it comes with their glitter primer, which I've never tried. I don't have any kind of glitter primer or glitter glue, so this might be nice to have just in case I'm in the mood to do a glittery look, which... I don't know when that's gonna happen again I don't know what possessed me to purchase this but it I, I did nonetheless okay and then it comes with a bunch of their glitter this is what they look like up close zoomed in you get a lot of product in here this is the blue shade do they have individual names or anything uh, this one's called blue oh how creative okay so yeah I don't know what I'm going to use these for but something possessed me to purchase this on the Ulta website when I was making my order so I got 
10 glitters and a glue. The next thing I'm gonna show you is the Maybelline Lasting Drama by iStudio Gel Eyeliner. So, this whole entire video I've been preaching that I love liquid liners, but I've been wanting to try a gel liner again. I've tried a few, I've tried Bobbi Brown, this is back in the day, Bobbi Brown, NARS, Inglot, I've had that one, and I've always seemed to just use it for a short period of time and then I stopped using gel liners. So I ended up picking up the brown in the Maybelline because people rave about this as a drugstore um, gel liner. And I also picked up the black, which I used, I'm sorry, I tried to use this today and I've come to the conclusion, I might have came to this conclusion before and I just totally forgot, but I am not a gel eyeliner person. This was super difficult for me to use and it wasn't even the product, the product is good. It's really black. Um, I mean, it stays on. I have it on my lid, but when I was trying to do the wing with the gel liner, I can't get a nice crisp tip. I can't get that crisp line when it comes to a gel eyeliner. And this is just me. I know some people that kill it at gel liner. That's not me. No. I kill it at liquid. I, gel is just not my thing. I did get it in black and brown, so I'm probably going to return the brown because I haven't opened it. I'm going to keep the black and maybe I'll just use this on my waterline or use it as like a black base or something because it is nice. It's just a plain black and it's creamy and it, it glides on. I just, if I'm doing a wing liner, I want that to be tight, crisp, and pointed. And when it comes to a gel liner, all the brushes that I have at least are a little bit thicker of a brush. So this doesn't work for me. I'm sure it works for a lot of you guys out there, but it's just, it's not my cup of tea. All right, now on to the drugstore complexion products. I did have to re-up and get another Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I love this stuff. I think I love it mostly because it's an actual mist where all my previous setting sprays have been sprays, so it doesn't really disperse thinly where a mist is just that easy glide on. So I use this a ton, and I love how it gives a more of a glow finish to my face, especially when I do a lot of powders, because I do mattify my face quite a bit. So I do enjoy this. I recommend this if you're looking for a slightly more affordable setting spray. That's the Morphe one. And then, all right, these two, you guys know I love this product, the LA Girl Pro Face HD Match Pressed Powder. So I got these shades here, which are, whoa, why did I get this color? 04 is what I typically use in the winter time, but for some reason I got 02. Why did I get 02? Okay, um, maybe I'm trying to foreshadow me getting a lot more pale. I don't know. So 04 and 02 I picked up, but I do like these powders. You guys know I've raved about these before, so I'm not going to talk about them. All right, I did want to pick up a drugstore foundation that had good reviews and that I know a lot of the YouTubers at least that I watch like. So I was watching a bunch of videos and this one kept coming up and I've tried this before and I remember really liking it. So I got the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless foundation and I'm sure you guys have seen this before um, a lot of people talk about it I've talked about it in the past but I got two shades 124 soft sand and 238 rich tan I don't don't ask me why I got such a big you know difference in the colors but today I am wearing the 124 was this one I'm wearing oh damn it which one am I wearing on my face today I am wearing the 238 rich tan which is surprising to me, but I, I guess I do have a little bit more color. Again, the lighting from the outside is washing me out a little bit, but I am wearing this today, and I do like this a lot. For the price point, um, I, I think it's a fair foundation. I don't love it like I love my Dior Forever foundation, but if you're looking for a drugstore foundation and you want to try something new, if you've never tried this, the Matte and Poreless is a really good one. Another good one that I should have purchased is the L'Oreal True Match. I've always loved the L'Oreal True Match, so maybe I'll have to go and maybe I'll swap this one out for the L'Oreal one. All right, the next thing I did was I purchased three different concealers because I wanted to try to find a really good drugstore concealer. So the first one that I was excited about, like super excited about, was this one right here. It's the Makeup Revolution, what do they call this? Conceal and Define Concealer. This is all over YouTube as being the dupe of the Tarte Shape Tape. You guys know I love Tarte Shape Tape. I have five different shades of Tarte Shape Tape. So when I saw the videos on this, I was like, I have to try it. I am wearing this on this eye today. And I've worn this probably three times already, and I don't love it. 
I don't think it is a dupe for Tarte Shape Tape. It's a very different consistency. This is almost, uh, this is probably like watery when it comes to Shape Tape. If you've ever used that one before, the Tarte Shape Tape is a little thicker. It's creamier, where this one's a little bit more watery. It has a lot of like flexibility to it. So if you want a lighter concealer, this might be great for you, but I am comparing it to the actual Tarte Shape Tape, and it's not like that at all. I had to do it like two to three layers to get the exact coverage as I would with Shape Tape, so this did not impress me. Um, I did get two shades, 6.5 and number 6, and I think I used 6.5 today. And it's very brightening, and I think I just did not like the texture and consistency of it. But yeah, if you guys have used this and you love it, let us know. Again, everyone's so different, but I was comparing it to the actual shape tape so did not like that in my opinion one concealer that i did pick up which actually surprised me so much and i'm surprised that i liked it is the ulta beauty concealer it's called the full coverage liquid concealer and it's waterproof i'm going to put this to the test today was the first day i tried it and my eyes water a lot so i'm interested to see if this is going to hold up but i am wearing it on this eye today and i have to say i love the consistency i love the texture of it i liked the coverage i think i could go a shade lighter but this one was fine it worked well you guys can see it does match me really well but i really like this and i'm so glad that i like this i'm wearing the color light neutral if you guys are curious again it's on this side but i again i'm surprised that i enjoyed this it has really good reviews on the website that's why i purchased it but um i was very doubtful and i'm glad that i do like this so it was interesting. All right, the last two concealers that I picked up are the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer. Now, these are the ones in the squeezy tube with the little brush on the end. And I remember having almost every shade of this. And I don't remember loving it. But a lot of YouTubers do love this. So I wanted to give it another try. So I am curious to see if I enjoy this now. Because, again, I don't remember myself enjoying these in the past yeah la girl concealers i picked these up in light ivory and creamy beige okay the very last product that i picked up from ulta is another ulta beauty makeup item they're kind of stepping it up with the ulta beauty brand so i'm pleasantly surprised this product i am wearing all over my face today and it is my bronzer this is the ulta beauty baked bronzer and it says it can be wet to dry um buildable radiance so it is a bronzer that has more of a glow to it you guys know i've been into that glowy skin lately and all of my bronzers are matte so i thought this was the perfect time to try out a bronzer and i'm wearing it it's the only bronzer i'm wearing on my face i typically layer up my bronzers but i want to give you guys a true look at this this baked product here so I'll do a swatch so the swatch is right here on my hand look how pretty that is it picks up the light like when the light hits it it just picks it up beautifully without being shimmery there's no shimmer to this it's just a beautiful satiny shine so gorgeous I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video I love haul videos and again I wish you guys an amazing new year and start to the new year because fresh start new beginnings new year new me type of thing but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys subscribe i hope you guys comment please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it i love haul videos so i know a lot of you guys do as well but yeah thank you so so much for watching follow me on instagram if you are not i'll leave my instagram right here and it's always down below uh we can chit chat on there if you guys want to and message me or email me or comment with any requests concerns anything like that again thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the new year bye